now. Gudja coming after. Oh, no. Just as we went for a battle for the lead, Matt Eagle and Robbie Farr have come together coming out of turn two. Seven, Marcus on the cushion. Ian Matson now starting to find something on the bottom, but he drifts back up to the top in three. McHugh out to a solid lead, definitely building again. After that restart, it was just as Goodyear was about to have a run, put some moves towards our race leader. Tate Frost right above the cushion. The young man trying desperately to run down Matt Dumsney. Goodyear puts the slide job on Lockie McHugh and McHugh. He catches it and heads back to the front, says not yet, kid. So what a battle this is about to be now. Kudja definitely showed his hand, put the slider in. McHugh kept a cool hand and goes back to the front. Ten to go, about to make that nine. Veal in third, Marcus Dumsney in fourth. And here comes the young Tasmanian running the brakes, runs over the cushion to peel the car straight back across the bottom. Sly job, picks up the move on McHugh, tags the wall. Gets up on the back wheels, and what's that is actually done is slowed the momentum of Veal, and Marcus Dumsey got him. We are three wide down the back straight. Contact with Goodger's right rear, and Veal's left front. Dumsey going back through the middle. It just went up a notch intensity wise, big time. Veal back to the bottom. All of a sudden, Marcus Dumsey is into second. Veal puts the slider on Goodger. Plenty of spice in that battle for third place. A look, Dumsney is starting to close in just a little on Lockie McHugh now. They're all upstairs, working our way into turn three. There's only three laps to go. Marcus gets a run in the Valvoline 47, and he puts the slider in. Wow, Marcus Dumsney, new leader. McHugh, can he come back? He goes straight back to the bottom to put it in. Can't make it stick there. And we have two laps to go. The timing was perfect. Oh, look out, McHugh. Veal and McHugh going for it in that battle for second. And we are red here at Archerfield Speedway in the Titan Garages. SCCA 59th Australian Sprint Car Championship. Ian Matson pulls up under the red. Oh, Aaron Kelly and Brock Hallett have made big contact on the main straightaway with Aaron Kelly rolling. And you can see the damage to the right sideboard of Brock Hallett. So word coming through, Aaron Kelly tagged the turn four wall Got the car here, Veal and McHugh. Very similar in some ways to the Matt Eagle and Robbie Farr incident in that both cars just heading for that narrow cushion out of turn number two. Is it possible? It's been 20 years since his dad, Max, won his final Australian Sprint Car Championship at Parramatta. Is this two decades later? The Darmsney name written in the tree of national title success again. Veal, Goodger, and Ian Madsen. Don't forget, Ian Madsen ran second at Valvoline Raceway back in 2017. We work our way down the back straightaway. Watching the move from Marcus Dumsney as he simply drives away. Two laps to go. The youngest Dumsney. Can he make history? Oh, Frost nearly getting together with Goodger. Ian Madsen in there as well. One lap to go. What a moment. His granddad, Sid Moore, started it all. His dad, Max, his mum, Melinda, they raced. His older brothers, Matt and Mitchell, and even Michaela had a skid as well. But your new Australian sprint car champion is Marcus Dumsney. Wow. What a moment for the sport. What a moment for this young man. He came from the fifth row of the grid position 10 to get it done in a race that had everything jock goodger pulls up to congratulate him jamie veer will be second jock goodger third ian madsen fourth tate frost on debut to fifth jamie bricknell to sixth from the b main daniel pesca nick well 
Brock Hallett, unfortunately, that's where the DNF start. Lockie McHugh, Matt Dumsney, Aaron Kelly, but wow.